Hey there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. Today's practice is short and sweet, but we're gonna move through the whole body. So let's make a start straight away. Let's start at the top of your mat and you can have the feet hip distance apart to begin with and just parallel. And let's bring the palms of the hands together into uh, your prayer position in front of the chest and gently close down the eyes. Starting to notice where you're landing with the breath and with the body. Feeling the weight drop down into the feet. That's particularly the base of the big toe, the little toe, and the outside and the inside of the heels. So little points of pressure you're pressing down that helps you to start to lift up and away, up and out through the crown of the head. Starting to deepen into your breathing. Just allowing the face to be relaxed and the shoulders soft. And then when you're ready, let's open up the eyes. And it's releasing the arms down by your side and you can keep the feet hip distance apart or bring them together. Press down through the feet, take the arms out to the side, take a big inhale, looking up to the thumbs. As you exhale, draw the hands down just through the center line, just arms. And then let's go back out to the side again. Press down through the feet, reach up through the arms, inhale. And then exhaling, draw the hands down through the center. And we'll go one more time like that, inhaling looking up to the thumbs and then exhaling, draw the hands down through the center line. We'll just go one last time like that, press down through the feet, inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, let's fold down into our Uttanasana. So folding all the way down, feeling really free to bend through the knees as much as you need to, letting the hands relax down and let the head relax down. If your hands don't reach down to the ground, just place them on the shins somewhere and we'll just take a couple of breaths, just letting the Spine completely relax, let the head relax. Breathing in and out through the nose. And now let's take an inhale into your halfway lift, draw the belly button in, you can bring the hands to the shins here or leave them down on the mat, sternum reaches forward. And then exhale, forward fold, bending the knees here if you need to. And then now let's all bend the knees and step that right foot all the way back, coming into your sprinter's lunge, coming up onto the fingertips here, reach the sternum forward, taking an inhale. As you exhale, let's start to straighten this front leg just to where you can. If you can't straighten it, don't worry, lift that right heel up. And then take another inhale to come back into your sprinter's lunge. Sternum forward, exhale, coming into your pyramid, relax the head down, inhale back to sprinter's lunge, exhale, pyramid, inhale, sprinter's lunge. One more time, exhale, into your pyramid, let's hold it here now, try to engage that left quadricep, draw the belly button away from that left thigh, thinking about the sternum reaching forward, you might better walk your hands forward, but don't feel like you have to push it here. Breathe into the back of that left thigh. And then let's bend into that front leg. Come back into your sprinter's lunge. Inhale, plant the hands down. Step back to down facing dog. Sealing down through the inner edges of those hands. Reach the hips up towards the ceiling. Taking one full breath here. And then let's lift the heels up towards the ceiling, inhale. As you exhale, take both heels over to the right hand side, opening up the left side of the body. So you're pressing down through the outside of the left foot, inside of the right foot. And then inhale, back up through centre, heels over to the left, opening up that right side body now. And then inhale, back up through centre, over to the right. Inhale through centre, over to the left. Inhaling back through centre. Find your down dog, steady gaze with the eyes. Soften through the knees, lifting the heels up. And we're gonna take a spinal roll into your plank position. So draw the belly button in, unfurl the spine all the way into your plank position. Step it a little bit further back so your wrists are underneath the shoulders or a little bit further forward. You can drop your knees down. We're gonna take a slow lower over a count of five. Looking slightly forward in front of your mat, take a big inhale. Elbows are gonna point straight back for five, four, Three, two, hover one, 
release all the way down. Release the tops of the feet down. Take the hands out wide, so cupping the fingers onto the fingertips, striking cobra, press down through the feet, inhaling, coming up. Exhale, release it down. Two more times like that. Inhaling, relaxing the shoulders down as you come up. Exhale, come down. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press into your tabletop position. Wrists underneath the shoulders, sternum reaching forward, tuck the toes under, press the spider up towards the ceiling, tuck the chin in, and then release the tops of the feet, release the spine down, take an inhale. One more time like that. Tuck the toes under, press the spine up towards the ceiling, tuck the chin in, and then inhale, release the spine down, tuck the toes under, press back. Down facing dog. Take a breath. Take the right leg up to your three legged dog. Inhale. Exhale. Stepping it forward in between the hands. Drop that left knee down. Release the top of the left foot down as well. We're going to swivel this left foot behind. Turn to face uh, the side. Stepping that right foot slightly forward. So you've Heel in line with the knee. Take the arms up to the side, inhaling. Exhale over into your Padagasana here, your gate pose. Take that left hand up and over, palm facing down. Really light with this right hand. You might turn the head to look up towards the ceiling. Open breath. And then take an inhale, come back upright. Take that left hand down. Try to get the left wrist underneath the shoulder, take the right arm up and over. You might have your hand on a block or just be up on your fingertips. If this is too strong, maybe turning the head to look up towards the ceiling. Either stay here or you can lift that right leg up, bend into that right knee, reach back, catch the top of the right foot, kicking the knee back a little bit, shift the hips forward. And an option to turn the head to look up towards the ceiling and maybe even start to swivel the chest a little bit towards the ceiling. Turn the head back to center without slingshotting the foot very gently. Release the foot. Take the right arm back up and over. Coming back upright, inhale. Turn to face the right leg. Bring the left foot back behind you. Stepping forward, Uttanasana. Let the head relax. Coming back up to standing, inhale. Press down through the feet. Reach the arms up, palms together. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana. Let the head relax. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step that left leg back. Coming into your sprinter's lunge. Again here, shoulders away from the ears. Inhaling the sternum forward. And then as you exhale, straightening that front leg to where you can, lifting that left heel, that back heel up. And then bend into that front leg. Take an inhale. Exhale to straighten both legs. Two more times, inhaling, and exhale, and one more time, inhaling, and then exhale. Let's hold this one now, lift that left heel up, try to lift the belly button away from that right thigh. You might better walk your hands a little bit further forward, and if you want to be on the fingertips, you'll be just a bit more active there. And then let's bend into that front leg. Plant the hands down, step back into down facing dog. Just taking one full breath, steady gaze with the eyes. Lift the heels up, bend through the knees, unfurling into your plank position. So draw the belly button in, spinal roll all the way forward, stepping the feet a little bit further back, wrists underneath the shoulders or just slightly forward. Once again, option to drop down to the knees here. We're going to take a slow lower. Take an inhale, looking towards the top of the mat. Slow lower for five, elbow straight back. Four, three, two, little hold if you can, and release it all the way down one. Tops of feet down, take the hands out wide. We're gonna come up striking cobra, but this time let's turn the head to the right as you come up. Take an inhale, bring the head back to center. Exhale, lower down. Turn the head to the left, inhaling. Come back to center, exhale, lower. Turning the head to the right, inhale, center, and lower. Last time, to the left, center, and lower. Hands underneath the shoulders, 
back to your tabletop position. Wrists underneath the shoulders. This time, let's bring the big toes together, knees a little bit wider, sit back towards the heels. We're gonna take the right hand back behind, lift the hips up, circling this left arm up, and maybe all the way back, lift the hips up, take a big inhale, and then exhale, reversing. Sitting the hips back down, take that left arm behind you, lifting the hips up, take a big inhale, lift the sternum up, and then exhale. Sitting back down. Just one more time, right and left. Right hand behind you, inhaling. And then exhale. Sitting down, last time, to the left. Lifting the hips up. Big breath in. And then sitting the hips back down. Come back into your tabletop position. Tuck the toes under, down facing dog. Let's take a breath. Take that left leg up to your three-legged dog, inhaling, stepping it forward in between the hands, drop down to that right knee, release the top of the right foot down. Take the right foot behind you, turning to face the side, stepping that left heel slightly forward, arms up to the side, inhaling. Exhale, Parigasana, left hand very light on the leg, right arm up and over, maybe turning the head to look up. Try to keep those lower ribs in, opening up that right side of the body. And then inhale, coming back up. Take that right hand down, right wrist underneath the shoulder, take the left arm up and over, pressing down through the outside edge of that left foot as you might turn the head to look up towards the ceiling as well. Option here to lift that left leg up, bending into that left knee, reaching back, catching the top of that left foot, Start to kick the knee back. Maybe starting to turn the shoulders towards the ceiling as well. Keep breathing. And then let's just turn the shoulders and the head back to center. Gently release that foot, that left arm back up and over. Coming back upright, turning to face that left leg. Bring the right foot back behind you. Tuck the toes under, stepping forward, Uttanasana. Feet hip distance apart now. Relax the head down. Option here to just take hold of your elbows or if you'd like to interlace the fingers behind the back. You might keep the wrists separated. If there's space, maybe bring the heels, the hands together. Let's focus on the breathing and make sure you're not holding the head up here. Take one more full breath. And then very gently release those arms all the way down. We're going to extend out through the spine. You might need to use your hands, but if you can, bend through the knees, extend the arms forward and come all the way down to a seated position. Let's extend the legs out long. I'm going to turn to face you. You can just stay where you are. Extending the legs out here. Bringing your right heel in towards the groin, over to the right side of the groin. So you can take a twist to the right. Keep both sitting bones down, press down through the back of that front leg. And then from here, taking a side stretch over your left leg there, standing up and over. Energy out through the top fingers, pressing down through that right sitting bone. And then inhale, coming back up. Let's swap it around. So taking the leg forward, bringing your left heel in towards the left side of the groin. You're turning towards your left side, mirroring you. Taking a twist. Keep both sitting bones down, pressing down through the back of that right thigh. And then taking that side stretch over that right leg. So placing the hand down that left arm up and over, pressing down through that left sitting bone, relaxing the shoulders. And then let's take an inhale, come back up, bringing that left leg forward. And then let's lie down on the back.
Just letting the shoulders relax, arms down by your side. Just taking a little moment here, just letting everything settle down. And then we're going to take happy baby just to finish. So we're bringing the knees in towards the armpits. And you could hold behind the thighs or the calves. If you can hold onto the outside edges of the feet, thumbs at the base of the big toe. And then press down through the back of the pelvis as you draw the knees in towards the armpits. You might like to close your eyes here. Slightly scan the body. Just notice if there's any unnecessary effort that you can let go of here. Taking one more big inhale. And staying for the exhale, see if you can squeeze in a little bit more. And then let's release all the way down. Just moving into your Shavasana. Legs extend away, let the feet drop away. Arms. Let's relax, palms facing up. Just allowing the muscles of the face to soften. It's particularly the jaw, the front of the throat, and the shoulders, and the belly. Very light focus on your breathing and resting here. Please feel free to stay here for as long as you need to or you can. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I'll see you next time.